Take a look at this short video and see if you can tell what the make and model of this vehicle is. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what it is. Hey, this is Gallagher. Today we are not taking a look at this Dodge Dakota Sport, but instead it is another small little pickup truck, probably my favorite little pickup truck. I was not expecting to see one here, but here it is, a Ford Courier. Let's check it out. The Ford Courier is a Mazda B-Series pickup that Ford borrowed after they were caught with their pants down by the booming import compact truck market. Eventually, Ford would repay the favor, though. Ford needed a competitive mini truck, and they needed it yesterday. So, in the early 70s, Ford struck a deal with Mazda to allow them to slap a blue oval and an F-Series grill on the front of a Mazda B-Series pickup. The Courier name was in use by Ford as early as 1952 and remained in use in this country or that all the way up to 2013. In 1952, the Courier was just a sedan delivery, a commercial vehicle that was commonplace for the time. And in 1972, the Courier became a different kind of workhorse, or at least a donkey. And Ford was the first American automaker to offer an imported compact truck, quickly followed by General Motors and the Chevy Love by Isuzu, and the Dodge D50 by Mitsubishi. This little pickup was comparable in features, configurations, and power with other small trucks of the time, and that's exactly what Ford wanted. The affordable Ford Courier even boasted a load capacity of 1,400 pounds, which was a lot for a truck of its size for the time. In 1977, Ford put a little bit of makeup on the aging Courier and updated its styling, and you get what you see here, a second generation Ford Courier. With the second-gen Ford Courier being fairly peppy, somewhat responsive on the road, and with the best fuel economy in its class at nearly 40 miles per gallon highway, you may wonder why you don't see more of them on the road or why they no longer sell them. The reason for this is Ford discontinued the Courier for its own domestically produced 1983 Ford Ranger. Yep, the Courier was the foundation for America's favorite small pickup. Later on, Ford returned the favor to Mazda and in 1994 produced Rangers to be rebadged as Mazda B-Series trucks. I love these little couriers and have wanted one ever since it was the vehicular main character in a failed detective series called Terriers. This rust bucket here didn't have much left, but it was still great to see. Let's check it out. Look at this nifty little thing. I forgot what year that said this one is. It's late 70s though. She has seen better days, that is for sure. I would love to have one of these though. 1978. The older ones had the Japanese style truck bed where it curled over and down, and then your tie down hooks were underneath that lip, which I like. Also, if I'm not mistaken, the older Courier's bed said Courier on the back instead of Ford. If I'm wrong, so be it. Look at this though, this bed is not very deep. I'm gonna show you how it's surprising. See how that rust spot is at the bottom of this bed? I always like these basic Eastern block fender wells, just square rectangles. But look at this, this poor thing. Yeah, that bed does not go very far down, does it? She's seen some better days. Oh, I wish this badge was here so much somebody else in this yard is hunting these like me because there's a lot of cool badges missing oh this door just weighs nothing seat is absolutely toast manual transmission i like the shift knob this is your emergency brake and release interesting look at this i'm gonna jump inside of this glassy cab wow look at these like domed I mean, frankly, they're like boobs, but look at this. Look at that. How strange. It looks like, what is that? I just, I could not even tell you what this was for. I, initially, I thought it was like a tripometer uh, reset, but no, it, it doesn't continue through. I do not know what that is. <gasps> wow. Still has a choke, though. It's kind of impressive. Very basic, but gets the job done. Climate controls here. Look at how easy it would be to maintain almost anything in one of these. Little teeny tiny glove box. Jesse. Oh man. Oh, I want one of these. Yes, I do. 
for the window to rest on. Let's take a look at the motor and then unfortunately, other than maybe seeing what's behind this seat here, hey, rear view mirror out of a courier. A little ball. And I'm guessing this is where your jacket tools went. Well, that's a 78 Ford Courier. Let's take a look at the engine and continue on. Oh, what a nifty looking engine. Probably all of three horsepower. Overhead cam, one point, oh, 1342, firing order. Really cast predominantly in there too. You aren't gonna, you aren't gonna miss that. Whoa, check that out. The carburetor, the bowl has a window. So you can see how dirty your crap is. Holy cow, how neat is that? That's gotta be desirable for somebody. For somebody. That's probably the oil cap right there that says Ford on it and is still shiny, you know, naturally. <laughs> cool little pickup. I'll have one of these someday as a runaround truck and I'll love the hell out of it. Won't take it out of town, but it'll be a cool truck. Thanks for watching. A Chrysler New Yorker, Fifth Avenue. And she's pretty plush on the inside. As you can see by the taped up window though, towards the end of her life, she was probably not super well cared for, at least by...